Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and uh, before I start the video, the following video may contain content unsuitable for, for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, here we go. Blades of Wisdom times two. An exchange ticket for December. And what do we got? Oh, oh, we get three sync quarks. Cool. That's not bad. That's pretty good here. All right, let's go ahead and collect the quarks in the Blades of Wisdom. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and... Ah, shut up. Sorry, every time I belch, I, I'm hearing... Uh, I hear, I'm hearing a, uh, one of my co-workers, uh, actually two of my co-workers, Angie and Maria, saying, Cochino. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, s officially start up Salem. Un not, the, the introduction I say was the unofficial start. This is the official start. So <clears throat> let's get to it. All right, this is 23, 23, uh, AP, and it's, uh, cat, uh, looks like, okay, it's horses, so that means it's going to be, um, <clears throat> uh, assassins, so I'm going to use my all assassin team, which is right next to this one. Uh, why did I do the assassin dailies here? And why is it saying power down? Hmm. Weird. Okay. Back to what it was, which is... Um... Cleopatra. Gramps. And... Jack. Okay. Why are, they, why are they all powered down? It's a little weird. Okay, it's a good thing I have the cast of Okeanos on there as the, uh, and that thing right there, because, um, how close is she to, okay, because I'm done, I'm, I'm trying to bond level up to fifth, uh, f uh, to bond level five, so, <clears throat> it's a good thing I got her down because, uh, she, she apparently gets a, uh, a boost in, during the singularity. All right, now let's get this started. Section one, a knot before dawn. Does this mean we need inside? It looks like we're in a forest outside of Salem, sometime before, before daybreak. I mean, that is what we're trying for. It's so dark, even for right, even for night. Is everyone all right? I'm still getting my bearings here. Sure doesn't feel too hospital, though. I'll tell you that much. I figured it'd be a pitch black inside the mist. But it's actually a lot brighter than I thought. I'm impressed, Robin. I should have known you have great night vision. I can barely see a thing. You think you can take take guard take, take guard duty? Sure, you got it. I'll check our watches against the stars later to make sure we're all synced up, too. Well, that didn't take long. I've already got eyes on someone suspicious. It's like a guy, but that's a witch if I ever saw one. Just look at those beady evil eyes. Are you talking about me? That's rich. If I were you, I hope no one, no one mistakes me for a bandit and shoots me. Stop that, you two. You should at least try to act like performers. What if someone overheard you? Good point. Wait, what the? Neza? Damn, you scare me. Oh, I know you. You're Crown Prince Neza, one of the newbies. You've been standing here so that standing there so still that I mistook you for a fa for a wax doll. Dolls lack capacity for thought. You show no sign of thought. Does that mean you are a doll? Ouch, that heart, that's harsh. Guess I deserve that. Sorry, I just forgot I said anything. 
Is everyone here, Mosh? Just a moment, Senpai. Slowly but surely, my eyes are starting to adjust to the dark. Over there, is that... Medea? Is that... It is you, right? Can you come closer, please? We need to stick together right now. Yep, it's Medea. I know. Ray shifting, whoever thought it was a good idea to combine magecraft and science. I don't think I'll ever get used to this feeling. Anyway, that's all seven of us, including Senpai. Everyone, please make sure you have all your things. Then we'll be on our way. Okay, let's go find the village. Man, I can't believe we're all stuck walking. You'd think Da Vinci could have planned something a little more convenient. Besides, if we had a covered wagon to ride in, it'd go a long way towards helping the locals buy what we're selling. You really do love complaining, don't you? We were only able to bring a bare minimum of comp of equipment we need. We just have to make do with what we've got. That's always how it is with race shifts. If we need anything else, then we procure it on site. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're traveling for farmers, so we don't have a whole lot to our names. <clears throat> I guess I should be honored that the bard himself came up with our, with our little theater. Or a little bit of theater. Come to think of it, we we'll decide on a name for our Aunt Mary band. Any ideas, Master? I was wondering about that too. We should figure out that figure out that figure that out before we run into anyone. Okay, let's go with the Solaria Company. <laughs> the Solaria Company, huh? That's great. What's so funny? It's not that all that bad. You really don't have any manners, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a little too witty for you? I don't know. I didn't know you great scholars were so hard-headed. I gotta say though, don't you think that it's not at all that bad as that his kind of cond condescending as praise goes? I, I didn't mean it like that, but now that you mention it, I know what you meant. Thank you, Ringmaster. You are very kind. Uh, somebody, I can't help but notice that Robin and Sanson are always at each other's throats. Well, one's the poster boy for irreverence. Yeah, whatever. I know we prepared for it, but it's not like we're going. We're sure going to be a beat. We're for sure going to put on a play. I just as soon not cross that bridge if I don't have to. Don't worry, I can always entertain with my dancing. Besides, we also have two beautiful stars right here, right? Hmm. Me? Uh, I know that Neza is an important character in many, in many Chinese operas like Journey to the West, but you're not also talking about me, are you? I sure am. If I have to, I'll even bring Master up on the stage. I'm getting with Mosh is. Senpai? If that is your wish, Master, I shall do my best. I believe the expression is knock him dead. That doesn't mean actually kill him. It's all pretend, got it? So don't go shooting us or, or, the, or the audience. Oh, and there's one last thing I want to make sure of. I get we're going to try to explain our way our outfits are, as being performers' costumes, but is it going to be a problem that we've got some obviously Asian people here with us? I think we should be okay there. I was concerned about how Senpai would be received here, so I checked our historical records. The late 17th century was also the tail end of the age of exploration. At the time, most of the interest in colonization had moved to the New World. But Europe had already started had a strong connection to Asia, thanks to the East India Company. That really imported spices from Southeast Asia, textiles from India, and tea and ceramics from China. Oh yeah, the East India Trading Company. I remember that thing from the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So, since Salem was a British colony, and would later go on to be a thriving port town with lots of trade. The people here may not exactly see Asians every day, but they also shouldn't be so so unusual that it would make them distrust us. Huh, that's so. I think that too would be one of the great British Empire's three base desires. Be that as it may, we should still prepare ourselves to be tra treated with prejudice. Indeed. What's more, we do not know for sure that the culture 
here's the same 17th century sound from our history or not. By the way, Solaria, is there a way for us to contact Caldea here? Hold on. Okay. Huh? You mean our communications device? Didn't Da Vinci explain also yourself to, to us yourself, Medea? I was present as, as an assistant myself, but I was preoccupied with making sure Senpai didn't nod off. Yes, of course, I just wanted to review the information, given how important it is. What was the deal with that again? There, you see? Oh, Senpai. I have a special device for that purpose, though it will take time to set up. So we won't be able to report our safe arrival back to Caldea until that's done. Can anyone at all use that device? No, only Senpai. Ordinarily, this era wouldn't, be, wouldn't permit any kind of magical communication at all. But I was told we can get around but that by linking the key mechanism to Senpai's command spells. Since Senpai has a strong connection to the service to Caldea. However, this method makes use of a back door, a byproduct of sorts, that happens when Solaria acts up. So I believe it will only be used for this particular race shift. That said, it's not as though we're pressured for time. The important thing is that our race shift here was successful. I see. They really thought this through. There's something important you need to contact Caldea about? No, I was just curious. Hold it. I see light up ahead. It's a campfire. Oh, does this mean we're already at the center of Salem? I doubt it. If that were the case, we'd be seeing fields of fields long before even a hint of houses. There's a fair few there's a fair few people I can hear them chattering amongst themselves. We gotta keep out of sight and move in for a closer look. Oh, it's Abigail. Do you all have your white ash branches? These are magic these are our magic wands. Now it's time to rap on the door. Tower three times against the earth, against the invisible rat, invisible door, rat tat tat rat tat tat rat tat tat tap. This door leads to the beyond, world beyond, and when it is open, a spirit will appear and gift us with a prophecy. What's not a prophecy, Abby? I will tell you things about the future you desire, the boy of your dreams, and also a uh, glimpses of a far, far away world that's nothing like our own. The spirit will this will whisper what you must do what you must do to make your dreams come true. I want to dress as even whiter than snow. Something that's sure to catch his eye. I want to be a brunette with hair that's with hair darker than a raven's feathers. I want to know who I am going to marry one day. Eek. Okay then, everyone, make your wish. As you throw your wands into the fire. Shall we sing Tichiba's magic spell too? Yes, let's a little weird. Okay, what the hell is that? Was all that? They look like they're girls from the village, but they're all acting all crazy. Oh, uh, look how much fun they're having dancing. I wish I could join them. But what are girls that young doing out this late at night? Could it be a trap or some sort of magecraft ritual? Do you sense any magical energy, Medea? No, but oh, this is bad. Very bad. What is? If anything, the opposite. I says nothing but since we came here, our magecraft has been severely weakened. Here, let me prove it. Robin, Sunson, uh, Dancing Girl, can you change to your spirit forms? No, I can't. What's going on here? Oh no. Are you no longer servants? Don't tell me you're being. You You've been incarnated. No, that's not what it is. It feels more like I've been crammed to a temporary human body than anything. I thought the spirit of trunk conversion felt a little weird, even after the race shift. Man, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Who goes there? Who are you? Robin, lower your bow. It's just a child. I let my guard down when we got here. If she overheard what we were just talking about. Hi there, young lady. What brings you out here? 
your outsiders, um, senpai. <coughs> Can you call an artropish? You heard senpai, uh, I mean, the ringmaster. Oh dear, I guess you saw us practicing our secret routine. <coughs> We're like Rama, but before we have an audience, I think you could do it. Do it. All you have to do is get your lines right. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I forgot the enemies don't show up till later again. Not a problem. First act, first to win. All foes eradicated. Are you a friend or foe? Do you believe us? Uh, do, you believe, do, you believe, do you offer us the blade or the hilt? Neza! Hello there. I am, uh, I am sorry if we startled you. As you, as you saw, that scene is not yet ready for the performance. But don't worry, we're not. Oh, that accent. Are you a French soldier? A fugitive? I have to get out of here. Uh oh, she ran off into the woods. You there. Sanson, Mush, wait. We can deal with her later. Something going on. Something's going on near the campfire, Master. Ah, ah. Stay together, everyone. They'll pick you off. We get separated. What's going on? Why are there wild beasts so close to the village? Come on, Abby. Let's get out of here. Well, wait. Let me get a piece of firewood. Otherwise, ah! You have to stay together. Get back. Man, these new world beasts are sure are rowdy. Who are you? Just an old dummy who didn't realize he'd been surrounded by wild beasts, young lady. Too bad none of them seemed like they'd made a good dinner. Hell, they look hungrier than we are. Demonic presence. These beasts, beasts no longer. Not, I mean, Ringmaster. You don't mind if we throw them with the throw down these things, right? Wait, Master, we need to help these girls first. Marhari, you and what mash get the girls are somewhere safe. Yes, sir. I mean, Ring Ringmaster. Your bill is down the way, right? Down that way, right? Then let's get going. Okay, so here we are with a with a battle. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh, instant death. 
No starts here. We're gonna fire the rain power. Let's love it again. My end of the fall in front of Egypt. Take that single as the end. Urias of Rambe. But this is not a fault. Oh, survived. For this one. <clears throat> Damn, a couple of those things drop Yggdrasil seeds. Back to story? Okay, yeah. And done. I'll go ahead with Master. You guys finish up here. What's going on here? That is, it's lucky that these creatures weren't too strong, but it seems our strength has been halved. Indeed, the strange false incarnation has more dire effects than I thought. At this point, we may as well be human. We might be in for some tough battles down the road. Yes, it is difficult, but we're not sensing. The Buddha always watches and protects in forsaken lands. It's very reassuring, Neza. How would it feel to you, Medea? Oh wait, did you, just, did you just sit that battle out? So it only affects combat. What is it, Medea? Don't tell me you're, ups more ups you're upset that we beat them before you could. True, you may have overdone it, but Albino Girl saw us fighting. That Albino Girl saw us fighting. I see. That could be very bad. Do we silence her? Be careful how you say things, Neza. I merely worry about one of, the, one of those beasts attacking her. I'm going to take a look around. Okay, I'll examine these beasts in the meantime. Are you alright, Senpai? Senpai? Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> thank you for helping us. We couldn't have escaped from those mean beasts otherwise. You saved our lives. Sense and Neza and Medea are putting out the campfire. They'll be here soon. Oh, oh goodness. Are you okay? Here, I've got you. I'm sorry, now that we're out of danger, I'm just so relieved that my legs gave out. I'm sorry, can I ask your name? Solario? Of course, I'm Abigail. I live here in Salem. Who are you people? You don't look like, you, you don't look like sailors or merchants. You almost never get pilgrims from travelers here. And you're all wearing such strange clothes. We're the Solaria Company, a band of traveling performers. This is Solaria. She may be young, but she's still the ringmaster our troop is named after. We, we got lost our way to Salem and ended up here in the woods. Performers? Oh, wow. You mean you come, came all the way this, all this way from Boston? That's wonderful. I've never seen a real play before. Everyone's going to be so happy. By the way, you know that do you know today's do you know today's date, Abigail? Oh please, call me Abby, Ms. Ringmaster. Today's date? Well, it's already past midnight, so that would make it April 21st. Yesterday was a Sabbath. The year two, huh? Oh, uh, it's the year of our Lord, 1692. 1692, of all the years to come to Salem. Abigail, who are these people? Oh, Uncle. I don't know who you are, what you are thinking, taking the other children out into the woods in the middle of the night. But I'll deal with that later. Yes, Uncle. As for these people, Uncle, they're... Well, no. Charlie performs, hmm? The other, girl tell, the other girls tell me you saved them from a pack of wild beasts. And you're the troops ringmaster, eh, Ms. Solaria? You must let me express my thanks. Let's see. 
It will be quite difficult to find a decent inn in Salem at this hour. And I can't have such upstanding young men and women that are staying at the same flop house as, as those ruffians from the war. Why don't you come all the way, come, all come stay at my home, if that's all right with you. That sounds great. Thank you. Wow. Do you mean it, Uncle? That's wonderful. It's the best news I've heard all my, in my whole life. That's enough, Abigail. You put all of your friends in terrible danger. Once you get home, you go straight to your room. You'll have only water tomorrow for your breakfast and lunch. And of course, you are forbidden to speak to our guests until I give you permission. Okay, I understand. I'll do as you say. Oh yes, I still have to introduce myself. I am Randolph Carter, a scholar. A scholar. I adopted Abigail as my own daughter after her parents, my sister and husband, passed away. Now then, it's getting rather chilly. We can talk more tomorrow. You'll feel much better after you've rested up from your journey in a nice warm bed. I'll have Tituba fix you something to eat too. Okay. Okay, we're going back to the main screen here. The Carter Residence. Ah, uh, free, uh, another one, uh, this is one of those free quests, okay. But that will probably be, that will be the next video, because this is running a little long. Until next time, this is Lola Jane saying thank you all for watching. See you then, take care of yourselves.